creating your map quiz in EducaPlay is as easy as uploading an image and placing the points you want to mark on it. Use it to locate places on a map, but also organs in the human body, components in an engine. The possibilities are endless. Players identify the points simply by pressing on them or, if you prefer, by writing the correct information. If you want to create a purely informative map, you can use the Explore mode. If you prefer to first show them and then check if they have learned it, choose the Explore and Play mode. If you want a plus of excitement, you can set a time limit or a maximum number of lives. Let's go! First step, click on New Activity, choose Map Quiz, and sign up or login if you haven't done so yet. Now you are in the editor. First, select the image on which you want to place the points. If you prefer, you can drag it from the file explorer or from your browser. Once you upload the image, the first point will be automatically created in the center of it. Click on it, hold it down and drag it to move it to the first place you want to mark. Write the name of the point or identify it with an image or an audio. Stern. To add the rest of the points, click Add Point and repeat the same operation as many times as points you need to place on the image. You have many more options, which we will see in a few minutes, but this is actually all you need to create your map quiz. Go to the Information tab, fill in the title and description, and click on the Publish button. Share it with your players by sending them the link, or however you prefer. They just have to click on the Start button after identifying themselves if needed. There are two optional information texts you can add to the points. One is the description that players read before solving the point, and the other one is the feedback, which will be displayed just after solving the point. In Explore mode, both texts are displayed when they open the point. You can select the game mode in the Options tab. By default, the mode is Play, where players have to identify each point. In Explore mode, they just have to navigate through all the points, reading the information you provided in them. In Explore and Play mode, they first see all the information for each point, and then they have to identify them. You can decide how players solve the points in two ways. The default one is for them to simply press on the point that corresponds to the information above. They will see everything except for the feedback. The other way is by writing. If you prefer them to solve the points this way, you just have to enable written answer. They will have to press on each point and write its name, aided by the description and the multimedia file, if any. The other options are lives, time and shuffle order. If you activate lives, you set a maximum number of mistakes they can make before the game ends. If you activate time, you set a maximum time to finish the game in seconds. By default, the points are shown in the order in which you have them arranged in the editor. However, if you activate shuffle order, they will appear randomly. With any advanced academic or commercial plan, you can use advanced options such as setting a background image, setting the game as private, showing a message when players pass the activity or not showing them the correct answers when they finish. If you have a commercial plan, you can also customize the game with your logos and your corporate colors. You are almost there. Next, go to the Information tab where you can change the language of the activity interface and write the title and description. If you want, you can also choose where the activity is located in your educational system. You can also tag your activity to make it easier to classify. You can separate your tags with commas or pressing Enter. When your activity is ready to be published, you'll just have to click the Publish button. Once your activity is published, a screen will appear from which you can do many things. You can keep on creating activities, you can check the one you just created, you can get the link to share it, you can publish it in Google Classroom or other platforms, you can create a challenge with it, or you can keep on editing it. You can do all of this whenever you want. Just go to your profile and click the buttons below the activity.